Hi guys, Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, we're going to be going back to our question and answer series. So for this particular episode, I'm going to be asking the question, how do you get the most out of Gabriel Barbosa? This particular question has come from the fm-base.co.uk forum. And this person's basically asking, what is the best role for Gabriel Barbosa? Um, and just to check if there's any other roles that he might be able to play in. So when you're playing football manager, the really, really key thing to do is to make the most of the players that you've got. And when you're actually searching for players, what you need to also be doing is take a look at their key attributes and think how they're going to be working into your tactic and into your team. Although this episode will be about Gabriel Barbosa and the best position for him to play in, I'm also going to be giving you some tips and tricks on the kind of things to look out for when you're searching for other players and the type of things to have a look for for the current players that you've also got in your team. Okay, so yeah, I've just loaded up my Football Manager 2015. What I've decided to do, guys, is just have a look at my current sort of save that I'm doing, and we're in the year 2019. So I do apologise for any spoilers, but the particular, you know, kind of development that we're looking here at for Barbosa, he's actually 22 years old. For anybody that's not aware of Barbosa, he does actually start the game at Santos, and we can see here that he's moved to Schalke for 13 million. And yeah, in 143 appearances, he's scored 61 goals, got 25 assists, 11 man of the matches, and an average rating of 7.14. So, very, very good player here. So, what I'm going to say, guys, so obviously I've been playing football manager for kind of years and years now. And and what you kind of tend to do is just get in a habit. Whenever you see a player, you can kind of instantly sort of gauge how good they are. And there's kind of certain key attributes that, you know, almost within seconds, it's something that you kind of just get used to over time. But almost within seconds, you're kind of thinking in your head, what is the very, very best player or position for this player to be, you know, playing in? So... Just, just for this kind of example, remember you can do this for any player at all, um, but I'm just going to obviously just be showing you with Barbosa here. So the the best thing to do whenever you're looking at players that you've maybe never heard of or you're just scouting them or just having a real quick look at them, what you need to be doing is just go down each of the technical attributes and just pick out their really key attributes. So this guy's obviously got really, really good first touch. Um, he's got really good passing, really good technique. Attributes like penalty taking, I'm not too bothered about. Um, so yeah, they're they're kind of his key attributes. So first touch, finishing, and technique, really really good, and as well as his passing is good. Then we have a look at down the mental attributes, and we can see that his anticipation is really good. His concentration is pretty good, and flair's really high as well. He's got good off the ball, which for me is a very very key attribute, especially for a player who can play as a striker or just behind the strikers. So for me, that's an absolutely fantastic um, attribute to have as a mental, um, yeah, kind of attribute. His vision's also really good as well. So I'm kind of a, a few sort of cogs are ticking in my head here, guys. So we can see the passing of 16 and that vision of 16 as well, plus that really, really good anticipation. And his decision making is quite good as well. So there's a couple of things here that I'm just kind of thinking about as I'm going through this. And so the last column, obviously, is the physical attributes. And so if we have a look at this, his acceleration is really good. His pace is really good. His agility doesn't particularly matter, but we can see that he's um, quite strong as well. So once you've had a look through all of his attributes, what we now need to start doing is just having a look at some of his, you know, kind of where he can actually play. Things like his height are really, really important. We need to also be having a look at his, um, you know, what what footed he is, whether he's right footed, left footed, or obviously both, um, you know, sort of comfortable with both feet. Um, so this guy's five foot 10. So he's, he's not the shortest person, but he's certainly not the tallest player. Um, so although he's quite strong, I probably wouldn't recommend using him as like a target man. His jumping reach is only eight and his heading's not his strongest, um, you know, kind of attribute. So they're, they're, what we're basically trying to do here, guys, is just kind of whittle down the position that this guy could potentially play in so at the moment what i'm thinking even without kind of looking at this guy any any further i'm either thinking using him as a poacher um obviously he's got really really good pace really good acceleration fantastic off the ball and his finishing and composure really good as well plus he's got fantastic anticipation and his decision making is high as well either that or we could probably have him just playing behind the striker 
And with his passing, his really, really good technique, his flair and his vision and his work rate, as well as that anticipation and decision making, I really do feel that he could be someone that could provide quite a lot of, quite a few assists and things like that. So with this in mind, so the next screen that you're going to want to take a look at is the player information screen. To access this screen, if you click on the overview tab here and then click on information. So this is a fantastic area to have a look at when kind of making your mind up about a player just to see if he might be suitable for your team. So the really important things here and the things that I take a look at are the media description. I take a look at their personality. And what I'll also be doing is just taking a look at their kind of natural positions and potentially some other positions they might be suitable for playing in. I'm actually only managing MK Dons who are in the championship on this particular save file. So in terms of preferred moves, unfortunately, I can't really have a look at them at the moment as I, I can't actually scout um, Barbosa, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure his preferred moves are going to be pretty decent. That obviously would have a little bit of an effect on what kind of um, you know position that he would probably be best playing in. So because his natural position is a striker, what I'm going to be taking a look at here is the types of position that you know he can be suited for. So what I would say when you're having a look at this particular screen is just to have a think about the tactics that you're currently playing with your team and potentially the tactics that you would need to play if you did get this player into your team. So if we have a think here, so potentially you could have him playing in this role. Um, so if you imagine he'll be a little bit like a kind of Wayne Rooney type of player. So he'll be sort of floating around at the top, you know, kind of receiving the ball, just getting into really, really good positions, just making sure he's available. He's obviously got the really good vision and the passing attributes and as well as that really high anticipation. So I could quite imagine that he'll be, you know, kind of floating around if you played him in this position, be kind of floating around everywhere else. Um, you know, kind of dropping deep, making sure he gets the ball, kind of seeing who's making runs and things like that. Let's pretend um, that you had a couple of midfielders back here who are really, really high um, in sort of vision and passing and they've got really good anticipation and things like that. And these type of players or, you know, these type of players are going to be playing a lot of through balls. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the, the pace of Barbosa is going to be really important. So really depending on the tactic you can have him kind of like floating around up top just sort of doing what he wants in a Wayne Rooney type of role or you could use him as a poacher up top on his own and um, where he'll be able to use his fate um sorry his pace just get into really really good positions and yeah his off the ball attribute is going to be absolutely vital for that and, and also his anticipation attribute is going to be vital as well and um, but personally I think he could get away with playing in either of them roles for your team now just dropping back a little bit what I'm having to think about here, so if we kind of do another sort of pretend example again, and if we pretend we've still got them creative midfielders in the middle, um, or your tactic is to sort of get the ball as quick as possible from the back and just sort of lump it up. Let's pretend up top here we've got a massive striker who's six foot five, um, you know, strength 18, head in 17, you know, you know, absolute massive player. And let's pretend that what we could do is have Barbosa just sitting behind this player as a shadow striker. And what would be happening with this, we'll be pumping the balls up to our target man, um, who you'd hope would win quite a lot of the balls in the air. And the idea is, if you're playing Barbosa just behind that target man, that he'll be getting in really good positions as a shadow striker. And it will almost be like having two up top, really, but you're giving the guy just the license to kind of you know, kind of move behind him and just find them gaps and find them positions in order for himself to get onto the ball. Um, and, you know, just make make sure that he's making things happen, basically. So, again, that's it's really, really dependent on the type of players you've got in your team and the way that you want to play, um, you know, play your football, basically. So, yeah, lots of things to think about. But what you what I would probably recommend if I had to kind of pick, I'd probably use him as a poacher. If you had some really, really good um, kind of passes in the midfield, I'd probably use him in that position. Um, if if you kind of just needed a little bit of flair up top or you were playing another striker up top who was just going to be the target man, or I would play him as a shadow striker if you, again, did have another target man up there who's going to be knocking the ball down to him. So 
Another kind of key thing to have a look at is going to be the preferred moves. So if we if we say that he can play one twos or um, you know anything that might go with uh, being a poacher or something like that, then you know these type of things will also you know make your mind up basically about the best things to do when having a look at certain players. So remember, I said that we can do this for any particular player. So just to kind of highlight again just pick out all their really key attributes from each of the positions have a look in the information screen and just make sure that you're you know kind of seeing what type of positions this player can play in and um, just so that you've got kind of cover as well for all positions it's it's always really really handy and just yeah just kind of make sure that you're getting a feel for the player the you know type of role that he might be able to fulfill for your team and just to kind of see if he gives you like a, another different option as well. So um, I'm going to call this the end of this episode, guys. I hope this has helped you in kind of how you look at players. Like I said, I've been playing football manager for years and years now. So literally within seconds, what I would normally do is just, you know, click on almost any player. And, and just within seconds, I'm going like scan, scan, scan. And, um, you know, have a look in there. And within maybe 10 seconds, I've kind of made my mind up about a player. Um, if you might be suitable for my team. But these are the you know type of things that you just need to be looking at in order to find in the best players for your team um but yeah um if you have any questions or any comments and you're watching this on youtube then please feel free to leave any comments um as well if you can hit that like button it really really does help the channel and of course hit that subscribe button and we'll be back very very soon for some more videos um yeah but thanks for watching guys